Hi folks, I'm Bridget from Saltbush Kitchen. Welcome back to my little series, Bush Foods at Home, bringing you stories about Australian food, connection, and sharing some recipes along the way. Today's episode is set in Bunnyong, the home of Saltbush Kitchen. Bunnyong is a beautiful little village in regional Victoria, and it became even better last year when Diane Ray decided to open up her very first restaurant, The Shared Table, in one of the most iconic buildings in the main street of Bunnyong. Today we're going to visit Di at the shared table and she's going to share with us one of her favourite recipes, a pepperberry sauce. Diane Ray, owner and chef at the shared table here in Bunanyong, which is a new restaurant of only a couple of months. And we do dining without decision, which is a kind of eating where we decide what you eat. Um, it's a fixed menu. You get to let us know what you don't eat and we work it from there. Hello. Tunes happening? Oh, tunes. Tunes are the best thing that you Hi, Di. Hi. Look at that beautiful image. <laughs> this is the Saltbush community. Everyone give Di a wave. Di, give us a wave. <laughs> flavours and I mean it's it's things we do with people sitting down you know sharing food and I like surprising people so that when they actually eat something that they think they wouldn't or normally eat and then they're surprised by how much they like it yeah today we're doing a black pepper and pepperberry sauce and um, this is a sauce that's um, I've changed around a little bit to suit what I do and our flavours and but it's basically based on an Andrew McConnell recipe from Supernormal and Supernormal is a restaurant in Melbourne. Oh, isn't it? is we've got some shallots mm -hmm. and that's not spring onions these are shallots in this case it's this shallot why because some people won't maybe have shallots at home can they use an onion they can use okay an onion. why use a shallot instead of an onion a shallots, brown onion shallots are, are sweeter they're sweeter they're also finer so you can actually sweat them down quite quickly and they soften quickly if you use an onion instead of shallots you will have to add the garlic and the ginger when the onion is soft. So you'll soften off the onion first. Whereas in this, you can put all three together because they soften around the same rate. But what was the choice to uh, to put the pepperberry in? There's a couple of reasons. I love playing with new ingredients and versatile ingredients. I liked also the Szechuan aspect mm. yeah. of the pepperberry in that it gives you that not numbing, but it yeah, well, it is a bit numbing. It is numbing, isn't it? And it yeah. comes the flavour comes in right at the end. Yeah. And it is it is very different to the normal black peppercorns. Yeah. And that's what I like, the, the play, but they work well together. Mm. So it, it's nearly like the black peppercorn is a platform mm. and then the pepperberry gives it another level. Mm. So it, it just lifts your peppers. Can you do my marketing material for me? <laughs> Alrighty, so, so we've got our shallots, garlic and ginger in here. And then we've got a pot with a bit of grapeseed oil in here that's been warmed up. And we will saute that up. Why are you, why are you using grapeseed oil? Um, grapeseed oil is um, it's a lovely light oil. It doesn't have a flavour. It's It just um, so that it imparts no flavour of its own. You can't use olive oil because that has a strong flavour yeah. and it'll change the whole taste of your dish. So if they don't have grapeseed oil, 
um, they can use canola or yeah. vegetable oil yeah. or rice bran oil. Yeah. So you've been cooking this for how long now? So probably about three to four minutes and we've got it just come up nice and soft. We don't really need colour on it at all because we just wanted flavours to be released. Now we'll put our chilies and our pepperberry and peppercorns in. Beautiful. And how long um, will this store for, the sauce? Um, Something you can pop in the fridge? You can probably even put it in the, like in a sterilised jar and keep it in the fridge pretty indefinitely. Never lasts that long, I tell you. <laughs> and then we're going to add our sugars and soy sauce. So yeah, in goes the sugar. Yep. And the soy sauce. So I'll just pull off the heat a little bit. So that's all the soy sauces all together. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, it's all starting to come together nice and thick. So that's it and I'll add the rice wine vinegar when it's cold. Smells like my um, brother and sister-in-law's kitchen in England. Is that a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even stinks. I'm not happy. <laughs> 